Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see quite a bit of news, and there's already a lot of stuff pouring in right now. If you haven't checked out our post, everything we know about the iPhone 5 on IDB, then make sure you check that out. It really is a culmination of just a ridiculous amount of information on pretty much every subject relating to the iPhone. Now, that being said, there are some new details that have come out at the last minute. One of them is a new dock connector. The name for the dock connector is now revealed. It is called, drum roll please, it's called Lightning. Yes, 9to5Mac has revealed that their sources have told them that the new name of this new dock connector is not, of course, the 9-pin dock connector, but it's actually going to be Lightning, and it's probably going to have, well, possibly, USB 3.0, which would make sense with the new name, Lightning. It should be faster, right? Uh, next one is the EarPods. That's the name of the new headphones that were also leaked earlier, and apparently they will feature improved design, as you can see there, and acoustics. I, I like the new headphones. I think they're pretty nice looking. So lightning and ear pods, just remember those two buzzwords because that's probably what you're gonna see at the press conference here in a few. That's not all, some enterprising folks, again, 9to5Mac, typed in iPhone 5 in Apple's very own search engine and it revealed, yes, it revealed, that is the official name of the new device, iPhone 5, it is, it is confirmed, all but confirmed. And not only that, but this also reveals that the iPhone 5 will have indeed LTE. We've all been expecting that, but it's nice to actually have a link to confirm that. As you see, it leads there, iPhone slash LTE, which is not live yet. And not only that, but there are some other details that you can find here, uh, such as a new iTunes, uh, iTunes 11, which we'll touch on in just a second. And not only do you have the new iTunes, there's also a new iPod Touch and hopefully a new iPod Nano as well. So all that's been pretty much confirmed from Apple's very own search engine. So Apple's search engine is the leaker this time. And Chronic, he is a very reliable. And as far as leaking information about the iPhone and things like that in the past, he's been spot on. And this time he says that NFC is a high possibility despite what other people are claiming. Although the iPhone may not have NFC payments, it could still have an NFC chip and be used for other things that near field communications can take advantage of. And last but not least, we have a sleeker iTunes 11 that will be today as well. I touched on it earlier, but here's some more information. It's gonna be redesigned from the ground up. This is 9to5Mac again reporting, so these guys are on the ball. Uh, redesigned for the ground up, it's gonna be much sleeker, much faster. And one last thing I wanna bring out here, uh, the pre-order date. It was rumored it was gonna be the 21st, but Mac Rumors has the scoop. They're saying it's actually gonna be this Friday. Yeah, three, this Friday. So you probably won't be able to pre-order it today, but Friday, two days away, on the 14th, you should be able to pre-order the iPhone 5. So that's the latest rumors and partial confirmations that we have thus far. Of course, everything will be revealed in the next hour and a half or so. So stay tuned, folks. We're gonna have a fun day. Lots more coverage coming. Stay tuned to IDB. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.